open wounds and malnourished. That's how one man found an abandoned dog in our viewing area. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. I'm Josh Drew. The man says he found the dog tied to a trailer with no food and water inside. James Torres joins us now with the latest on the dog's condition. James. Josh, Kim, this puppy is Triumph. She's recovering at the vet's office right now after they believe someone abandoned her and tied her paw too tightly to a trailer. Now, here's a quick warning for you. Several images in this story are very, very graphic. Listen. This pup didn't always get food and air conditioning. Before she was in this room, a man found her in this area in Ringgold. And I like to take pictures. So I went out, just took some pictures, and I find this dog. Fabio Sousa says he found this dog tied to one of these trailers. Very sick. Very thin. A quick Google search led him to find Judy Butterfield. She runs a dog rescue. When I first saw the dog, I thought something bad has been going on here. And um, it just seemed like more than just an abandoned dog. Judy took these photos. She sent them to a veterinarian at this clinic in Cleveland. That's when Dr. Sheila Connolly started taking care of the dog. I got pictures texted to me, and it was gross, gross neglect and abuse. This dog named Triumph weighs 10 pounds less than a dog her size should. One of her paws, almost twice as large as the others from extreme swelling. Well, it looks like she was tangled or tethered with some cord that was so tight that it cut the blood supply off and the tissue is dying. Triumph is at risk of losing her leg, but Connolly believes she has a chance at keeping it. A lot of times some um, injuries this severe, they do their ugly thing for months and months, but sometimes we can save the leg without having to amputate it. But now they're just relieved they can give her the food and shelter a dog deserves. Connolly tells me that Triumph still has feelings in her toes, which is a good sign toward keeping that foot. Kim. James, thank you. Butterfield says she wants to find a way to file a report for this dog, but is still figuring out exactly how.